point in praying to God because we believe in the law of karma. So if you do good things, then good things are going to come back to you. So, and God, um, somewhere in the book it said, um, God doesn't actually have any interference with the law of karma. Like it, he, there's no God in judgment. So what's the point of us praying to God? You see, this is a lovely question because it shows that <clears throat> you thought well about your religion and you really come to a very you know, difficult issue and you need to address that. The issue is this. On one side, you are saying this law of cause and effect that controls the whole universe. So everything you put into motion will carry, you know, produce certain consequences, certain results that you have to bear. So you've been a nasty piece of work, bad things are going to bound to happen to you and you're going to pay a price for it. That's what law of karma teaches. So if we are all fixed like this, why bother with uh, prayer? This is her question. And the answer is also very dramatic. You may think, oh, that's a serious question. Oh yes, but the answer is equally serious. The answer says, don't you see? Prayers are too law of karma. So when you are praying, you are bringing forth, because suppose, suppose, say things gang up against me, things have gone, I did a lot of bad things, so I didn't study well in the exam time, and things are ganging up against me, and I'm struggling, and you are in the corner, and you are under, under pressure. The law of karma will teach you, you must, if you like, to resolve your difficult situation, you must act to counter it. So when a lot of bad things are kind of combining together and attacking you, you do good things to counter it. So if you have not been studying hard the last day, you say, I'm going to work all night and revise all night. So you counter it. So all your bad karma will catch up with you, but you counter it with another positive karma. So suppose I've been kind of very lazy all my life, then things go bad and I lose my, in my business. So I said, I've done terrible. Let me counter it. Doesn't mean, okay, I become laid back and I let everything run over me and say, I, I deserve it. That's not law of karma. Law of karma says, you are in charge of your destiny. Things will add up sometimes and push you in the corner. You come fighting. You need to continue to act, not run away from action. Doesn't say, oh, I can't do anything. The law of karma fixed everything. Law of karma tells you that things are not fixed because you can continue to interact with your surrounding, your circumstances. And one of the ways you adopt is prayer. That is karma too. You say, no, no, it's God. No, you, don't you see? God didn't do prayer. You are doing the karma. So it is going to produce a beneficial result. Do you know how it happens? To give you a simple example. Our mind is very powerful. So when we say, or when we believe that a prayer is going to help me, and I pray feverishly, do you know what happens? Our mind shows its colors and produces a beneficial result. So you know that God came, okay, I listen to you. I am telling you, it is you who are bringing about the change. Because your mind is so powerful. And do you know what happens when somebody, suppose somebody is not well in the family and you're praying to God. I just made fun of the idea of God helping only people who believe. But do you know what actually happens? Through the feverish prayer of the person who likes to want that relation to get better, his mind, his own powers are invoked. They come out and bring about a change. They think God did it, but actually they have done it. It is their serious, severe, feverish prayers that produce the result. So if you do prayers, in a way you are invoking your own inner strength to respond to a challenge. So you are in a way now saying, all the law of action is catching up with me and pushing me in the corner. I want to push this aside and break free. So I'm going to do act. One of the action is prayers. So prayer in a way allows you to invoke the strength which is within you and <clears throat> respond to a challenging situation that you face. See, this is a beautiful question. And the response is equally powerful. It's saying, no, prayer is an action too. So you are using law of action, law of karma, through the process of prayer. And that is action too, isn't it? You are doing something. 24 hour minutes. So, you know, you've seen people who would sit in front of an image and pray and repeat and repeat. See, so they are doing, they're invoking the strength from within themselves to respond to a challenge. And that will win. Even if you don't believe in God, it's called the placebo effect. I mean, you notice, if somebody gives you a thing, take this pill, it will make you get better. And maybe just pill may have nothing but water. But it's called a placebo effect. In the same way, suppose I believe in God, that prayer, I believe in God, allows me to come out of my difficult situation that God is helping me. But actually, it's you who are helping yourself. Your mind is helping you. This is how you respond. This beautiful question, Dikri.